going to give you a story time. So this was back when I very first started. My first year in business had the Cup Cadet, uh, had the Cup Cadet stand up, walk behind with uh, a bagger system, and I get a call to come bid this property. <clears throat> so I come out, and this thing is pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I'm just going to walk down the sidewalk. I'm not going to do anything stupid. It's not my house. I think the people that lived here moved. Uh, so this is it right here. So pretty much this whole front yard. There used to be a chain link fence back here. The backyard had a chain link fence. But uh, it goes all the way back. I mean, this is acreage, okay? This is literally an acreage property. <clears throat> and as far back as you can see is how far it goes. <clears throat> I'll show you the right side here because literally there used to be a chain link fence. There was a playground and they had a pool and a trampoline and all kinds of stuff. And so... Uh, so here it is, okay? <clears throat> now this property goes pretty much back, if you see that shed way back there, behind that shed about 25 foot is the property line. And it goes from there all the way over. And this from this fence over used to be chain linked and then a, a little bit about halfway between this fence and that shed used to have a chain link fence. I wish I could show you more, but I don't want to. I want to walk on these people's property. Um, first, second year in business. First year in business is when I got the call, and I come out and uh, I look at this property, and they've got a double gate. Okay, they got a double gate in the back uh, when they had the chain link fence, and I said, uh, I looked at it. I mean, pretty much nothing's changed except for you know the trees back there have gotten a little bigger. And uh, I look at this property and all this trimming and everything. And Danny says $80 a week. Danny started mowing it, $80 a week. <clears throat> Danny realized real quick after mowing this property one time, what have I did? Because not only did it become the chain link fence, all this trimming, she ended up wanting the inside of the chain link fence. She wanted me to start bagging it. And then she had a tree back there inside the chain link fence that I could dump it at. Well, if you've ever used one of them 33 inch Cub Cadet baggers, you know it is one big pain in the rear end. So I said, all right, 20 extra dollars. And I push mowed with that Cub Cadet 33, that's, you know, self-propelled, of course. I push mowed that whole backyard and bagged it. <clears throat> now, the backyard was probably alone. Just the backyard alone was probably 7,000 7, square foot, somewhere around in there. I might have been a little bit bigger but somewhere around just to give you an idea i used to do this yard for 80 dollars <clears throat> and i figured it would be a good story time because a i'm mowing the house right up the block i don't do this anymore of course but uh just to let y'all know that you learn so much so much starting out in this business i looked at this property and i said man i'll be able to fly through this once i got to mowing this and seeing how fast it grew weekly and how picky people were and things of that nature man it was a nightmare a total total nightmare uh but once again the moral of the story is you learn so much over doing this for years uh you know once you get past that second year or so you, you learn real quick that what you did you know you learn from your mistakes and uh 
you learn real fast from them because once you start doing a property like this that's acreage i mean this thing's probably four acres guys um uh it's probably it, it, it's it's at least three acres at least three acres um but once you start doing things like this <clears throat> you learn from those mistakes and it betters you not only as a person but as a company so uh that's my little story time just wanted to let y'all know that you know danny does make mistakes danny used to do this property right here all the way back once again guys i mean if you've seen the shed back there and back here as far as you can see pretty much all of that is theirs and i did it for 80 bucks so uh don't do that do not do that if i knew now what i knew then uh this property right here would have been easily easily 180 dollars a week no ifs ands or buts about it uh you know and i, I shorted myself um cost me a lot of time cost me a lot of money because i could have been doing other properties so uh that's story time with danny today and i figured it would be a good time since i'm mowing this property and i was getting out of the truck and i remembered that property and i said you know what let's let my audience know what not to do so take my advice don't do that y'all have a good one we'll see you soon